Hi, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to add icons to your WordPress menu such as this one. It's actually quite simple to do this and I'll share two methods to do this. Let's get started. The first method is by using Elementor. Now if you have built your header using Elementor theme builder, well this is a straightforward method, right? So this is the menu and this is the header that I built with Elementor. I'll leave a link to tutorial on how to do that but assuming that you have a header, now we need icons in this. How do you do that? Just open the WordPress menus page in one tab and in one tab just open any blank template just create a new template in Elementor. Now drag in the icon widget. It can be any icon or any widget with icon in it. I'm gonna simply drag the icon widget right. Now pick the icon you want to use in your menu. Maybe for shop I can actually type the name. You can pick this. Click insert. Now minimize the side panel by clicking this left arrow. Right click on this, click on inspect element and once you inspect this icon, just right click and copy the HTML of the icon, right? Now this is on Safari, maybe on Chrome, it's just right click and copy. Once you copy that, go to the menu and just remove this text first, put to span tags, I'll leave this code in the description, it's angular braces and span. After that just paste the icon and after that just type your actual name. Also be aware of the autocorrect it will make capitalize the I. So I now have the widget or the icon in this menu. Now if you check the menu I have the icon in it right it's as simple as that. This is supposed to be shop again you can go to menus and edit the text. So this is the pattern, first copy the span tags, I'll leave this code in the description so don't worry just put the span tags before you put anything else and in between the span tag first paste the icon right the icon code or if you want the icon after the text just put your text first so I'll just type my text and then just paste the icon code that I copied by inspecting just click on save. Now if I reload this header the icon should appear right after my text right it's as simple as that and this applies to anything else you can also add a custom link and this link text can also be an icon right just pick the icon from here and copy and paste the html of that now let me pick a different icon from here i'll just click this browse maybe i'll pick something like this click insert again i'll minimize the side panel right click inspect element and copy the html of this once i do go back to menus and in the link text you can simply put that and click on add to menu so you can simply have an icon as a link but i wouldn't recommend this it wouldn't give much of a context to the users but again yeah so if i reload this i have a menu element just with icon and if I click on that it will take me to whatever link that I've put for that menu element. You can put icons before the text or after the text. So if you want it before just paste the HTML code first and then put the text after the code. So it should be something like this right either before the starting of the i tag or at the end of the i tag you should have your text right it's like this. Now if I reload this, so that's how you have icons, right? You can have text before and after but that's kind of weird. But yeah, that's how you add that first method. And the second method is to actually install a plugin called Font Awesome. Well, it's by the folks who created the Font Awesome icons themselves. So install and activate the Font Awesome plugin. And you can create any page, just create a Gutenberg page or you don't even have to create a page. Click on the text block, just type something and click on it. Click on this down arrow and now there is an option called font or some icon. Click on that and pick your icon. You can simply copy and paste this code in the menu just like before. For the blog, I'll just put this. I'll save menu. Now if I visit the site, so just like that we have an icon. 
I would always recommend method number one because when you install Elementor, it all already installs the font awesome library for you. So you don't have to use another plugin. But if you don't have Elementor or if you're using the Gutenberg method, well, install the font awesome plugin, copy the shortcode and paste it in your menu element. Just like before, like before the text or after the text, wherever you want this icon. And it's as simple as that. And if you want more tutorials like this, check out WordPress tutorial for beginners playlist on the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.